I'm Nicola Hume. I'm an automotive specialist. There's so many SUV options out there at the moment, and in terms of where Renault are, how can they stand out? Take three, take one. Everyone wants something that's practical for day-to-day -day things, but also at the same time, a lot of people want to have a lot of fun while you're hitting the hills. So can they merge the two better than other brands? So here's the promise. Renault Rafale have joined forces with Alpine cars, who have added performance, excitement to the car, 300 horsepower, four-wheel drive, but then you've still got like that craftsmanship and the beauty of the Rafale that we've grown to know and love. My expectations are high. Okay. I mean, Renault's aiming high. I'm intrigued to see what it's actually capable of. It looks nice. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but it's actually named after a plane. So a bit like the namesake, like an aeroplane, Renault are planning to take the whole thing to new heights. Je m'appelle Philippe Mérimé, responsable du service mise au point liaison au sol chez Alpine Cars. Rafale représente en fait le meilleur des deux univers, la technologie Renault et l'expertise d'Alpine en mise au point liaison au sol. Le challenge sur ce véhicule était d'aller chercher un niveau de sportivité élevé sans dégrader le niveau de confort. Alors le meilleur de la technologie Renault dont on a pu disposer sur Rafale, c'est bien sûr le moteur e-tech pour sa grande efficience énergétique, cette fois-ci à 300 chevaux, mais également le fort contrôle et la suspension active qui dans cette version est équipée pour la première fois d'une caméra. Et il y a un rêve que cette marque a toujours eu dans l'histoire, c'est de montrer qu'on est aussi capable de prendre de l'altitude et même d'aller faire un tour de piste sur le sommet des marchés. Yeah. I look forward to that. I feel like it's it's about time they've done that. Stepping up. Can they manage it is the question. I'm Gregory Lonet and I'm a revenue leader on this amazing project that is Rafale. It's like two, take one. Rafale has been designed to rebuild Renault's reputation for creating high-end vehicles. The challenge was to coordinate uh, the teams from Alpine and Renault in order to achieve what we are looking for. For Renault, first the priority was given to the powertrain developments with a full new E-Tech hybrid engine delivering 300 horsepower, a 4x4 transmission and a 22 kilowatt hour recharging battery. Je m'appelle Arthur Ferrière et je suis pilote prestation client chez Alpine Cars. Are we in sport mode? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> well, it sounds good as well, though, doesn't it? That's so good for an SUV. Yeah. Honestly, it's like, look at this response. It's, it's quite flat. You are absolutely a racing driver. <laughs> Conduire ce Rafale Atelier Alpine est vraiment très plaisant notamment sur des petites routes sinueuses. Nous avons travaillé sur une grande partie de pièces sur ce châssis de Rafale Atelier Alpine. Les barres anti-roulis, les ressorts, les amortisseurs, et les règles, ainsi que les réglages des systèmes pilotés, à savoir l'ESP, le tuning de direction, mais également les réglages du fort contrôle et de la suspension active. The grip on this thing is insane. Yeah, it's That's insane. insane. Those tires are specifically developed for this car. With sideways here, maybe? I think I'm mostly surprised by how it's taking corners yeah. with such a big body. And even at, at high speed here, if I put a lot of, a lot of steer, steering wheel speed, it's very stable. I'm expecting that the car will be able to stay reasonably stable when it comes to tight corners, because a 300 horsepower car, you're going to want to throw it around. I know that's what I'm going to want to do. Ready? Yeah. No! <laughs> You can feel the electric power underneath it. It's not having to stop and think, it's just going. I love the agility of this one. Yeah. Even if it's a pretty big car with a four-wheel steer, it's very agile. Like you see, you put very low steering angle. It took the corner so well, and I felt completely in control of the car at the same time, which was 
a rare thing sometimes. Yeah. You can even get a whole family in here if you've got kids and everything. Go away on a weekend and go around some hilly roads and just have a jolly good time. Just have fun. À titre personnel, je suis extrêmement fier de ce véhicule, fier de la contribution d'Alpine au développement de ce véhicule, qui est à la fois confortable et sportif. I think they've kept their promise there. It's very impressive behind the wheel, as well as being a really nice SUV. They've managed both. Ah, oui, ça. On ne s'en lasse pas. C'est toujours aussi plaisant à conduire. What we have delivered: first, a high-performance car, new achievements in efficiency an agility control system delivering an amazing dynamism while preserving the comfort of a high-end 4.7 meter vehicle, all while maintaining the genetics of the Renault brand in terms of roominess for passenger and luggage and in terms of comfort that make this car a voiture à vivre. Performance and power, Alpine. Pleasure and passion, Renault. Put the two together, chef's kiss. <laughs>